Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'm going to make you all some baby lima beans with ham hocks and okra. I'm also going to be making some Uncle Ben rice, a long grain converted rice and some cornbread on the side and I'll get back with you all with the ingredients. Okay, and when you're cooking a baby lima beans, I got the uh, dry ones. I like this, and I have two packs of them, like I said, because I'll be cooking a lot of them. So I'm going to use, this is one, each pack is a pound, so I'll be using two pounds of that for my baby lima bean. You also can use the fresh ones, uh, uh, the fresh ones, and you can also use the frozen ones. So I never cooked the dry ones before, so I'm going to try them out. Sometimes when I'm cooking for you all, I'm doing this my first time myself, and most time it come out right because I most time I use common sense. So also with the lima beans, I'll be ham hocks. Now these are eight big ham hocks. And the reason I got so many of them, because I clean them, you gotta wash them, you gotta clean them. So I clean these, and look, I did a good job on these. These are eight big ham hocks. And what I do, when I get through cooking the omelet, I'm going to cook the ham hocks first, about two hours until they get tender. Then I'm gonna put the, the beans in it. And what out of these ham hocks, what I want, see that meat, I want this. I'm going to take and cut the skin off. And this is just like no fat will be on this. I'm going to get all this meat off here. That's why I got so many of them. And that takes, this is about $16. That's, that's not too pricey because, you know, this is your meat. Okay? So I'll be using, I'll be using some Uncle Ben rice. I might have said that. Uh, pepper and salt. I have chicken broth. And I have some, these some leftover vegetables that I might use. You know, I don't, I don't throw my vegetables away. But these are things I'll be using. And I'm going to put, here's my fresh okras. I got some fresh okras. I have a red pepper. I have a green pepper. I have yellow onions. This is a little celery, red onion, a jalapeno pepper, and fresh garlic. Now, I'm a, I might not use all of these, but at some time I'll be using them. I just introduce you all to, and of course, when you're cooking beans, you need some sugar, some white sugar. You need a lot. I, I didn't take that out, but these are things I'll, I'll be using. And the first thing I'm going to do is start with my ham hocks. Okay, I'm getting ready to, I uh, got my ham hocks over here in this pot. I had to, you got to find a deep pot. But like you said, I got some big ham hocks and I'm, I'm not cooking no chicken, no pork chop, nothing else. This meat here, like I told you, will be my meat and my beans and the, my vegetables. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see, I'm going to let these ham hocks cook until they get tender. And I'm going to take the skin off. I don't want the skin. I'm going to use the skin later on and see if I can make some crackling. I mean, some skin out of the fry like they do. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them with celery. It don't matter. Just cut them big. Like I said, don't waste your time. Cut them big. Put them in here. Because I'm trying, I'm just seasoning my uh, ham hocks. You know, you ain't really got the seasoning, but I am. Since I got a lot of vegetables, put these cloves in there. Cut this onion. Like I said, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Let this boil. You're going to season this up because this is what's going to make your beans, your lima beans. You know, they, these are baby lima beans too. So all that going to go in there. And I might put a little pepper just for color. And go in there. Also, going to season too. Like I said, don't spend all day on your vegetables. These ham hocks takes a long time. You can try neck bones if you want to. Uh, you can try turkey meat. You know, uh, you know, smoke turkey. You can try neck smoke neck bones. But to me, or turkey neck, some people use that. But when you're seasoned beans and stuff, to me, ham hocks give the better, better flavor. Now, I know that skin and that fat, ain't much meat. But like I said, I bought a lot of them. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put, uh, put a little broth in here. That's what I'm going to use, you know. People always season their um, their beans and stuff with a little chicken broth. This is chicken broth. And put some of that in there. I always do my sodium last. I put, I'm put some pepper in here. Just a little bit. Just season these. Okay. And put some water in here. And I'm going to let this cook about until it gets tender. I don't know, maybe two hours, because you know it takes ham hocks a long time to cook. And these were smoked. And what I did is I tuck and clean them and tuck all that smoke off them. I don't really like uh, smoke stuff. I just like regular. I don't like the smoke. Because, okay, I need some more water. Make sure you cover, you have to cover your uh, meat, because it's going to cook for, like I said, for an hour. 
and you can start prepping your other things that you need that gonna go. You can start doing your okra, your fresh okra, cutting the stems off. And you also can start getting your rice ready and your cornbread, because I'll be adding rice and cornbread. And most of that'll be cooked off camera, because I you can check my cornbread and rice out on my on my channel. So I'm making sure I cover this because it's gonna be cooking. Okay. I'm gonna cover this up, cut it on. Got everything and I need them. Put a little salt in here, just a little bit, just to season the water. Take a little bit more pepper. Need vegetables? I'm gonna do its thing. Let me cut this on high. I cut mine on high till it start to boil. And once it boils, I'm looking for my top. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, it's right by the pot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this on here. Get that off. I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna let, once it start boiling, like I said, once it start boiling, I'm gonna cut it down and let it cook on medium for about until it gets tender. And you can check it in an hour and a half and see how it is. If it's tender, you don't have to let it fall off the uh, bone because uh, the, your beans got to cook too. And they're going to take your beans probably an hour and a half to cook. So you let them cook about two hours and that's good enough. Okay, I'll get back with you all. See how that ham hock cooked? All that meat. I'm going to take the skin off. They cooked good enough. So now I'm getting ready to add my beans and then season them up. See the ham hock? They're good enough. That might be a little too much water in there, but I'm still going to put it in there. And then, because I don't, I don't want the juice, I have to, if I have to pull some out and change the pot once I take the skin off, then that's what I'm going to do. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put these beans, lima beans, I washed them in there. Put them in here. To, I had two pounds in there. I put them in there and let them start cooking. I already seasoned these vegetables and stuff up. They're seasoned up good. So I'm going to put these in there and let these cook. These are going to cook until they get done. And I'm going to come back. Now, all these vegetables, like garlic, I had show to you before. I'm going to put them in here. These are garlic and green peppers. And these are jalapeno peppers, too. I, I had um, put them, uh, chopped them up off camera. But I had introduced them to you in the beginning. So these are onion. I'm going to let these vegetables cook with the uh, beans. And I'm going to get back with you. They should be good. I'm gonna put a little salt. I'm gonna put a little sugar. When you're cooking uh, beans, put a little sugar, just a little bit. See, not much. Just a little bit. Once these start cooking, these are gonna be so good. Once they start cooking, I'm gonna show you. Now let them cook. They cooked an hour and a half, like I said. Put a little salt. Pepper. I'm gonna get ready to get my okra and my rice together. This gonna cook probably about, um, until the beans get done, I'll say about an hour and a half. Once they get done, let them come back to a boil. And you don't wanna take, you wanna like um, have sea water in there cause they're gonna cook. And one thing's about lima bean, the next day, keep, you're gonna keep a little juice in them. Cause the next day when you get ready, they just come to like mashed potatoes sometimes, you know, for lima beans, butter beans and stuff like that. Pinto bean don't do that, but the lima beans, Great Northern, they do that. So when you're cooking the Great Northern, butter beans, llama beans, uh, anything like that, leave a little more water in them so they won't get thick. Okay, then I'm gonna get back with you. I'm gonna let this begin to boil. And once these uh, beans uh, get, llama beans get uh, tender and done, I'm gonna take the meat out and I'm gonna show you my next step. Okay, you all, I see my good old looking cornbread because I got a lot of meat over here. But anyway, here's my rice. I cooked that off camera. Check my channel out. You will see how I cook my rice. And you know I'm, I cook cornbread all the time. Here's my cornbread. And the main thing that I was cooking is my good old baby lima beans. You see how they cook? See how some of the meat came off of it? And I'm letting them cook. I'm letting them cook some. They kind of, you know, I'm going to give y'all a tip on this right here. When you, when I, I'm gonna recap everything. What I did, I, I washed my ham hocks. I had eight ham hocks. I put water, I covered the water, make sure the water covered the ham hocks. And uh, I put uh, garlic, fresh garlic, green pepper, a red, little red pepper, onion, yellow onion, red onions, and uh, some fresh garlic. I put all of that in there. Just check, uh, when you look at it, you'll check it out. Okay, and uh, 
the next time, and I let my ham hocks cook for about two hours. Here they are right here. I let them cook, look at all this meat. I let them cook for two hours. I should, I put my beans in there after they cooked the hour and a half. But when you all cook them, put your, put your beans in the ham hocks an hour, not an hour and a half. Let them cook only an hour and then put your beans in, you know. I can, I know how to do it, you know, a new cook. But, you know, so I'm going to let my, I'm going to let my beans cook a little bit more. See, they look so good. Let me cut it up. Oh, they look good, y'all. They taste so good with my cornbread and stuff. After these start boiling, these okra, I'm going to lay these okra on the side and let them cook. After I take and put this meat, and here's the ham, what I told you I was going to do. You see this right here? This is nothing but meat. Nothing but meat. That's that's like, you know, that's not the fat. That's a good part of the ham hocks. Make sure I'm going to use my hand. Make sure y'all put a clean glove on. Take this all out and put it in your uh, your, your meat. And that'll be so good. And that's quite a bit. You know, you got to look in here. And that's what most people like from a ham hock because it really ain't nothing but seasoning. It ain't look at that fat. It ain't nothing but seasoning. You know, take some of that fat off. That's all it is. Some of the fat ain't going to hurt you once upon because this fat going to make it taste better. See how that look? It ain't going to hurt you. And because uh, you don't eat this every day. But this is how I am. This is what I call my beans and ham. Ham hocks. I think that's short. That's short. Ham hocks to ham. That's what this was a long time ago. And I'm the type of person I like them. I like cooking old fashioned like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this all off the um, bone, put it in a pot. After I do that, I'm gonna put my okra on the side. I'm gonna show you that step too. Cause you don't want your okra all over uh, your beans and meat. But what the point, when you put okra in there, know what it is seasoned so good. Okra is made for soup. They're made for, they're made for, uh, and beans, because the season, some people don't like okra, but to finish this pot off, you got this, this okra, I don't know what it does, but that stuff from the okra season very well. But I'm gonna get back with you all when I get ready to put the okra in. Okay, you all, I took all the meat off the bone, off the ham hock bone, only one bone in there, ham hock. Look how it looks. Now I'm getting ready to tie that, I mean, meat all the way through, and it is so good, y'all. What I'm getting ready to do now is put my okra, fine, I season, I put a little bit more sugar in there, and I put a little bit more salt. Not no salt, I mean pepper. So I'm gonna put these to the side. When you're cooking your okra, you wanna put them right to the side. Cause you don't, and if you don't like okra, take them out. All you want these okra to do is season these beans. That's all you want it to do, and keep them on the side. That's old fashioned cooking, honey. Old fashioned, what you call old fashioned. Young people don't know this, but I'm teaching you. Let that okra just go into that. Don't move them. Only if only if you like okra, but if you if you don't like okra, take them out. But you got the season, you won't even know. Eat one, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm gonna go let this finish cooking. I get back once these okra cook, I'll be finished. Here's the finishing touch, y'all. This is so good. I taste these nama. I ate a big bowl full of them. Things are so good with this ham hock meat all the way through it. Here's the okra. All the okra did was flavor it. And look at this. Good. I had to cook two pans of cornbread because I want some left. I love cornbread. And here's my two pans, and here's my flaky rice. See how flaky the rice is, y'all? Got it going on. Thank y'all. I'm going to set it up on a plate and show you my presentation. Thank you for, thank you for tuning in. Hold a minute. Thank you all for tuning in to my presentation. Here's my lima beans in a bowl with the ham. And here's it is in the plate. That looks so good. I hope you all enjoyed this. Follow my instruction. You can get the same results. I, like I said, thank you again for tuning in. Here's my cornbread to go with this. And have a great day.